one shot in honor of The Walking Dead returning tomorrow, that is if you're watching this on October 10th, I'm going to be counting down the top 5 Walking Dead villains from the TV show, not the comic books. Meaning there will be spoilers galore in this episode if you are not current with The Walking Dead. So again, there's going to be a lot of spoilers in this episode if you're not caught up with The Walking Dead. But with that said, let's start with number 5, working our way to who I personally think is the number 1 Walking Dead villain. Kicking this list off is Merle Dixon. He played for the good guys in his final days, which is why he's not at the top of my list. But for most of his life, Merle was a hateful, homicidal piece of crap. Which is why he was handcuffed to a pipe on top of a roof, which caused him to have to cut off his hand to be set free. But a standout instance that showed just how evil Merle was, was the time he set a walker loose on a tied up Glen. While saying stuff like, you're a pretty big snack for this fella, but you know what they say, he's gonna be hungry again in an hour. That's just all kinds of messed up. Just missing my top three is Shane. Whether you think he was just misunderstood or a maniac, Shane was constantly teetering on the edge of insanity, proving that good people can go bad under the right circumstances. Which was also the point Joker was trying to prove to Jim Gordon in the Killing Joke storyline. But that's neither here nor there. Shane's final moments proved just how twisted he had become. He was about to kill Rick, saying that he's a better husband and father for Lori and Carl. But Rick was able to stab Shane in the chest before he could shoot him. Shane became so obsessed with becoming the group's leader and wanting Rick's family that he almost killed Rick for all of it. That's a villainous move if I've ever seen one. At number 3 is Gareth. Putting this short and sweet, he ran Terminus, which as we later find out is a cannibal compound. Their motto was, you're the butcher or you're the cattle. People who lived at Terminus would ask new arrivals if they were willing to accept cannibalism as a way of survival in the community. Those who rejected the notion were then captured, killed, and eaten. Kinda like what Gareth did to Bob. They chopped off his leg while he was unconscious, only for Bob to wake up while Gareth and his goons were eating his leg right in front of him. That's some dark stuff right there. The runner-up on my list is Lizzie. Now, why is this blonde-haired, cute little girl runner-up on my list of Walking Dead villains? Well, that's because she's freaking insane. Lizzie's most notable quality is her obsession with the zombies. She sees them as being just different, and thus not a threat to humans. She shares an eerie connection with them, describing them as her friends, and saying she can hear them talking to her. Do you see what I'm saying? She's crazy. But no, for real. She's, like, actually mentally ill. Her craziest moment is when she killed her little sister, telling Carol and Tyrese, don't worry, she'll come back. And yes, she will come back, but as a freaking walker, not your friend. She was also gonna kill Judith. You know, Rick's baby girl. So needless to say, she has a screw or two missing. Or had a screw or two missing, because Carol killed her after she found out she killed her sister to make her her zombie friend. And my number one pick, which should be no surprise to anyone, is the governor. He's definitely the most known Walking Dead villain, and that's for good reason. Because he's done things like kidnap Maggie and then told her to strip in front of him, he killed Andrea and many other people amongst a bunch of other evil things. But the most notable one, for me at least, is when he killed Herschel by slitting his throat with Michonne's katana. Which I think was one of his most evil moments, because Herschel was just a good-hearted, wise dad figure of the show. You don't kill a sweet old man like Herschel unless you're pure evil. So for that and the numerous other evil things the governor has done has made him the number one Walking Dead villain in my opinion at least. Yeah. 